Rich Lowe, Pilot Legacy, on site of the Grassdale, Maynard, Texas, Wednesday, 28 October 2020, 16 weeks, six days post groundbreaking. We started off today's activities with an owners, architects, and contractors meeting wherein Jerry reviewed the progress on site. Of the 16 slabs scheduled to be poured, we have half of the slabs poured uh, on foundations Delta, Foxtrot, Hotel, and Kilo. The other halves of those slabs, as well as Pad Alpha, will be poured later this week. The plumbing is roughed in in Pad Sites Bravo, Charlie, and Echo, and the plumbing being laid in Gulf and Juliet currently. The reason that the uh, slabs are poured in uh, in half increments is just due to the overall size of the slabs. Uh, because of regulatory requirements, the cables that uh, stabilize the uh, pour cannot be uh, beyond about half of the uh, dimensions of the overall slab. They pour it in half, they let the concrete cure, and then once it's fully cured, they resume the pour to complete the foundations. Some of the other foundations aren't quite as large, and they can be poured all at once. Also scheduled for later this week is the uh, pouring of the concrete for the head walls on the western culvert sections. You can see the forms are already set up here on the north side and uh, the forms are also set up and ready for concrete on the south side. Uh, in order to facilitate the construction of the forms and the pouring of the concrete, GNC excavators have had to dam off an enormous amount of water that's flowing from uh, the northern boundary of the property off US Highway 290 eastbound. That water is flowing uh, southbound. You can see it just behind me here and uh, here on the drone shot that water's collected in the uh, northeastern detention pond. That uh, water's being dammed off until the pour on the head walls can be completed. Once uh, the, that concrete has dried and the uh, culvert sections opened up the uh, dam will be broken the water will be allowed to flow through and then uh, more of those irrigation challenges that we have here on site will be uh, completely rectified as you recall from our last update a month ago strategic was preparing to insert the storm drains themselves as well as the piping sections which uh, ran throughout the property diverting storm water down to the southern detention pond. Those storm drains are uh, largely in place as well as the uh, conduit underneath and it's uh, working as advertised. Uh, in time a head wall will also be constructed and poured as uh, it interfaces the southern detention pond. Overall, Jerry had excellent things to report. He's extremely satisfied with the subcontractors. He's working on the, uh, the forms, the concrete, the, uh, the sewage, the plumbing, as well as the storm drains and the culvert sections. The city of Maynard's been coming out, signing off uh, on the work right away, which bodes well for the timeline. Uh, despite the fact that we've had a tremendous amount of rain and that the site is uh, still pretty wet, uh, Jerry reports that we're right on schedule. So uh, we got a beautiful day here today. We're anticipating a lot more concrete uh, to be poured here in uh, the next couple weeks. So we're again, we're making most excellent progress here in Maynard, Texas.